Question number 18, 2019, we are told a line L1 passes through points 3, 3, and 5, 7. Find the equation of line 1 in the form of y is equals to mx plus c, where m and c are constant. Another line L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through the point minus 2, 3. Uh, then find the equation of the line 3 max, comma number 2. Uh, the the x intercept of L2 uh, and C determine the point of intersection of L1 and L2. So what are you required to know here? First of all, you need you need to know how to get the equation of a line given two points that is three three and five seven. Uh, and before you get that, you need to know how to get the gradient. We normally say gradient is equal to change in y over change in x. So let's say, let's first of all get the gradient of L1 is equal to, we can say it is 7 minus 3 divided by 5 minus 3. This will give you, uh, this will give you 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. So we now have the gradient and we have two points. So we can choose a, an imaginary point whose coordinates are x, y, and say y minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 2. That is a gradient. And when you cross multiply, then you find that uh, y minus 3 is equal to 2x uh, minus 6 y is equals to uh, 2x minus 3. So that is the equation of the line. Uh, that is how you get the, the, that equation. Uh, then part B, another line L1, L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through the... So what do we know about perpendicular uh, lines? The product of their uh, gradient is equals to minus 1. So it means that the gradient, we can get the gradient of L2 is equals to minus a half, uh, 1 over 2. This is because when you multiply minus a half times 2, you get, my, you get uh, minus 1. So now that we have the gradient and one point to get the equation, then we say y minus, uh, it passes through the point uh, 3 minus 2, 3. So it is y minus 3, and this will be y minus minus 2, which will give you uh, plus 2 is equals to minus a half and when you cross multiply you get uh, y minus 3 is equals to a half minus a half x plus 2 plus uh, plus uh, that is uh, uh, y plus minus 1 not uh, not plus minus 1 which you get y is equals to minus a half uh, x uh, plus 2. So that is the equation of line 2. Roman number 2, we are told to find the x-intercept. So it means x-intercept is where the line uh, line 2 cuts the x-axis and therefore at, at x is equals to 0, let's find what is the value of y. So we say y is equals to uh, minus a half times 0 uh, uh, plus 2. So you find y is equals to 2 because a half multiplied by 0 is 0. And therefore the y intercept, uh, that is the, the point where the, the line 2 cuts the x-axis is coordinate is 0 and 2. So that is the point. Finally, part C, we are to determine the point of intersection of L1 and L2. So the point of, of intersection, it means that the, we can say it is uh, the equations are equal. Uh, so the first equation is uh, y is equals to minus a half plus 2, and the first one is 2x minus 3. So y is the same at the point of intersection. So we can say 2x minus 3 is equals to minus a half x plus 2. Uh, so you, we put the right terms together uh, to find the value of x. So this will be 2 and a half x is equals to, let's take the other to the is equals to 5, uh, x is equals to 2. 
So at x is equals to 2, we can find y. So y is equals to uh, y is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 minus 3. Uh, this will give you 4 minus 3, that is 1. So the point of uh, intersection of the two lines uh, is uh, 2 and 1. So that is how you get the point of intersection. So that's how you work out that question. I hope you have followed all the steps that we have uh, followed, uh, used uh, and that should give you 10 marks.